I feel like there's a connection here that is actually really good for you. Now, <clears throat> let me move here. Let me situate myself, Virgo. <clears throat> there is a connection here that might actually be good. Okay. Single or not. All right. This reading is for either single or taken. I don't know why I keep wanting to pull or see like what else comes out. I haven't done that in any of my readings, but for some reason, for some reason in this reading, it's like making me check more. So hmm. I wonder if Virgo, you're in your head about something because fork in the road came out and not for you came out, which to me tells me if someone's making you feel like you're out of fork in the road, that is not the person for you. <clears throat> and you have a deep knowing about this. Okay, this is separate. I feel like this is a separate message. Yeah, not for you came out again. <clears throat> yeah, seek your peace. This person, if, if you're dealing with like a situation where it's making you feel like it, there's a fork in the road, you're, you're like going round and round about it. So look for your peace about that. Put that situation to rest. Yeah, there goes again the fork in the road. It's making you think too much. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> Unfinished symphony. Come to the edge. Yeah. Virgo. Okay, let's get to your reading. Yeah. <clears throat> What I'm seeing here, oh look, soulmates is at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm seeing here is that there is a faded relationship here, whether you're single or not, okay? There is somebody that's going to make you feel like there's no place like home or they already make you feel this way, okay? We have milk and honey and milk and honey to me is like prosperity. It's, it's, it's everything you've hoped for, you know? It's like your milk and your honey and it's perfect, you know? It goes hand in hand. Um... We have the fates here, which reminds me of the star card in the tarot, which is like your hopes, you know, and, and fate, you know, the star card means fate. So I feel like there is just <clears throat> something here. It's like your wishes are being fulfilled or, or, or it's almost like spirit is trying to fulfill your wishes. And then we have poised here. So to me, poised in this particular situation, it almost feels like there's someone that's putting you in sort of like a pedestal um situation or it could be vice versa take this as it resonates um <clears throat> excuse me there is something here though that needs to be communicated i feel like virgo there's something that you need to speak about um or someone needs to speak to you about we have clean it up so i feel like <laughs> i feel like the, the, if there was a situation here between you and another person i feel like spirit is coming in to clean that up to clear it up for you because there's something here that's fate. You guys are soulmates, you know? Um, and if you haven't met this person, you're going to meet them very soon. We have flexible here. And to me, flexible symbolizes the fact to, for you to be flexible. You know how there's sometimes like keep an open mind about the person that you're going to be with or that you are with? Um, we have blessed. So I feel like with blessed, it, it tells you again, this soulmate, you're being blessed with a soulmate. We have 22 and 11. Okay. And to me, that's, those numbers are very important. And I feel like you should definitely pay attention to synchronicities right now in your life. Um, <clears throat> Virgo, if you don't believe it, you're blessed beyond belief right now in terms of love. Um, even if you're going through a tough situation at the moment. So please remember to check your moon, your ascendant and your Venus sign, just in case those have more information for you. Um, we have by the book here, but to me, this is Almost like telling me, Virgo, don't go by the book. Don't be so by the book at the moment with a particular person. Because we do have soulmates here. This is a beautiful card. I feel like for some of you, you're going to um, step away from a situation you don't need to be in in order to allow a new situation to come into fruition. Yeah, we have regeneration, time to go. So yeah, it's like once you go, you regenerate, you you get what you deserve. You See, someone's going to go the distance for you. A leg up. Yeah, it's going to be like an equal give and take. You're not going to feel orphaned anymore or alone or like you're in between worlds. 
<clears throat> very nice. Let's clarify these cards because this reading seems very positive, but I feel like there's more to it. <clears throat> and honestly, sometimes it just is that positive. Okay, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, angels. So let's clarify no place like home for Virgo's love life and cover. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot happening here. Spirit is telling me to take all these cards. That's a lot of cards. Okay. Yeah. If there's a situation that's making you feel a little bit like, which way do I go? Which is kind of like the Seven of Cups. It's like there's so many options. You'll know which one's the right option for you. And Virgo, like, honestly, if for some of you, you're at a point in a relationship where you're just like, I don't think this is for me anymore. I feel like you're going to walk away. Because you want better for yourself. But I do see here, <clears throat> whatever situation is making you feel like there's a fork in the road or like too many options or just make you feel like stuck. <clears throat> I feel like you know exactly what to do about this. Because then we have the two of wands and the two of wands tells me that there's some planning or making plans you know, like looking toward the future, making plans, bringing in this new opportunity for yourself. Out with the old and with the new, planting a seed. Hmm. Let's see what else comes out. This is an interesting reading. Let's clarify milk and honey for Virgo, please. Clarify milk and honey for Virgo. There is a lot of cards jumping out today for you and for Pisces there was a lot of cards jumping out okay so yeah milk okay see I'm getting such a specific story in my mind but like I, I'm also getting other stories so just bear with me Virgo I feel like you were dealing with a situation where it felt like it was very toxic I, I don't know and it's like you want you want this You want the milk and honey. You want the happiness. Your luck is changing in love. I feel like this could represent you, the hermit, because this hermit card does represent Virgo. But it could also mean that there was a period of time, or where there will be, you know? A period of time where it'll be a lot of contemplation, a lot of inner, you know, going inside of yourself and... and taking some time by yourself like not really allowing the outer world to bother you for a little while just to get your bearings together just to get things settled back in your mind in terms of your love life put your emotions in order i don't know i feel like <clears throat> hmm it's like you go from a situation that you didn't want to be in into a situation that you do want to be in you know you go from something that didn't feel right to something that feels it's extremely right. But you have to be flexible about it, about this person. <sighs> Let me get more info here. Clarify the fates for Virgo, please. Clarify the fates for Virgo. Yeah. <clears throat> It's like, I feel like I'm getting a past and a present card. It's almost like the clarification is the past. The past is clarifying the future. I don't know. It's so weird. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Four of Coins and the Queen of Coins, Pentacles. What I'm seeing here is that in the past, you were anxious about your future. You were anxious about a future with a person, anxious about your future in general, in love and um, almost like holding on to something, holding on to something that I feel like you're finally releasing or that you finally released. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So to me, this this definitely symbolizes the, the fact that there's some security coming your way in terms of your love life. Because it's fate. It's fate for you to 
come to this place now where it's secure, where everything just feels right. <clears throat> That's interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Clarify poise, please, for Virgo. Clarify poise for Virgo. Clarify poise. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> Clarify poised. Wait, one more or no? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <sighs> Virgo, you might be dealing with an air sign or you will be dealing with an air sign. Or another earth sign. I don't know. Maybe a water sign, Scorpio. I'm not sure. Yeah. See, that's what I'm seeing here. It's like you finally came to terms with the fact that you're fated to have someone good in your life. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're single or taken. This is, it, you know, take what resonates. Uh, put it into your situation the way it needs to put in, be put in your situation. We have something here. So with this poised card, it's like p card. <clears throat> you come to a realization that you deserve better. You know? That you deserve someone that puts you on a pedestal. That you, you deserve someone that sees you as a long-term commitment. That sees you as someone that that it deserves to be loved. You know? So you're leaving those cups behind. And you're sailing away into better, calmer situations. Into better... Into something better. I was about to shuffle the oracles again. But look at what's on top of the deck here. The Eight of Cups, which is, again, sailing away from what no longer serves you, walking away. Hmm. <clears throat> clean it up. Clarify, clean it up for Virgo, please. Clarify, clean it up for Virgo. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. We have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is telling me that you do go inward and you do clean it up. Or you allow a spirit to come and clean it up. And you're taking a new leap of faith, being more flexible. This is like the full card, you know. Um, I definitely see you on to new beginnings. Could be with someone from your past, possibly an ex coming back, but like someone that's actually, you know, worked on themselves and, you know. But if an ex does come back and it's something toxic that you don't need, I know that you're gonna walk away from that. You're not gonna accept something that's mediocre. But with the Six of Cups, I definitely see that if you do, you know, when you do or if you do go into this Four of Swords, swords, swords. <laughs> when you go into this Four of Swords mode, it's like <clears throat> you're finally realizing, learning from your past, learning from your past connections, you know, and taking a new leap of faith towards something else. So you're cleaning it up. You're cleaning up that, <clears throat> excuse me, the memory lane. You're cleaning up everything. Wow, my throat... <clears> throat> It's definitely telling me that there's something here that needs to be communicated. And there you go. You have something to communicate in the bottom of the deck here. Someone is going to communicate with you. Okay. Flexible. Clarify flexible for Virgo, please. Clarify flexible for Virgo. Okay. Yeah. And there goes the eight of wands again. Now it's on the top of the deck. Okay, we have the High Priestess. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Nine of Coins. You know that you need to be flexible <clears throat> in terms <clears throat> of your love life, but also not too flexible to the point that you accept someone toxic back into your life. So we just said that with this clean it up here. <clears throat> clean it up. Take the toxicity out of your life. It's someone who probably kept secrets from you, did some, this shit behind your back. <clears throat> someone just not, is being sneaky, 
not good for you. And you know that, so you're deciding to walk away from that. But being flexible to new connections, you know? Being open to that. Wow. Let's see this blessed card here for Virgo. Why is this here? Why is the blessed card here? Like, <laughs> wow. Anything else for this blessed card? Okay. Top of the deck is the Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Which symbolizes new beginnings and victory and the truth coming out about something. <clears throat> I feel like you're going to find something out, Virgo. I don't know. It's probably separate from this whole entire reading, but I just wanted to put that out there. We have the Three of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So, <clears throat> wow. To me, this is telling me that... I, I, I feel like I remember saying something like, no matter what has happened in your love life, no matter how many heartbreaks, right? You are blessed. You are blessed beyond belief here. So whether you went through something, you know difficult, traumatic even for some of you. I feel like spirit is letting you know, do not give up because you are blessed. You are blessed beyond belief here. The seven of wands is telling me for you to persevere. Wow. And be on the defensive with toxic people, you know, put your walls up for those because it's, it's not needed. <clears throat> Those people are not needed by the book. Clarify by the book here, please. Clarify by the book. Please. For Virgo. Clarify by the book for Virgo. Clarify by the book for Virgo. Yeah. Huh. It's so funny because we have the king of swords here and he is very by the book. You know, he's intellectual. He's all about the books. <laughs> but I feel like that's something you need to release, you know, not going by the book. With the hangman here, it's, it's not being stuck because being by the book sometimes can get you stuck. Step out of your comfort zone. I feel spirit is saying step out of your comfort zone when it comes to love. Okay. You might meet an air sign, to be quite honest. It could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini for some of you. We have Taurus here too. Hmm. Aries maybe. Okay, we have, hmm, we have the page of cups here, which to me could symbolize someone reaching out to you. Maybe someone who sparked your interest. Hmm. The lovers. We have Aries. We have Aquarius. Hmm. Interesting. Someone wants to get to know you, Virgo. Someone wants to get to know you. I feel like if it's someone that your gut feeling is telling you, okay, this person is good for me, I think you should listen to that gut. Because it might end up being something really really prosperous between you and another person something very long term <clears throat> 